everyone, just want to give a quick tease on everything we have going on for this next year and wrap up a few loose ends. This past year has been an amazing year of growth and we went from being in my apartment to now having our own studio space, which can better facilitate a wider variety of topics that I want to cover with no risk of me getting evicted. And with that, we've also scaled up our team to better handle production and allow us to produce more consistent and quality content. Last year, I started by going through a list of 35 items I want to make this past year. Of those, I did nine of them. Mostly because I added additional items as the year progressed and pretty much everything on the list is still in process and a few of them I've already started. In addition to that, there are a few things I mentioned doing that I haven't gotten around to and wanted to give an update on. First up is my closet garden. It's actually moved here to the studio space where I can better monitor it. And I've actually in the process of upgrading it to three different hydroponic systems after a few setbacks and hoping to get that up and going this year pretty soon. Another thing we mentioned last year that we had a TV show possibly coming to the Food Network. Uh, unfortunately, nothing ended up coming from that. So now we're back to focusing full time on YouTube. And with that, we legally weren't able to do any food based content this past year but now we're able to again. And with that, I'm gonna pick up the series on making candy that I started. And for this Valentine's Day, we're gonna do a video on making candy hearts. We've already been doing some practice rounds right now with store-bought ingredients to try and recreate them to eventually do it all the way from scratch. I also mentioned during the bug spray one that I was gonna try and raise some mosquitoes to test it out a little bit better. And uh, all my mosquitoes ended up dying. And I just couldn't get enough of them hatched at the same time to really do an accurate test. So that whole project's kind of on hold. Maybe wait until next summer. Yeah, I've done several videos on bronze now, but I haven't actually made my own bronze from scratch to cast a spear that I teased at the end of the bronze casting sword video. Uh, that's still in process. For that, I actually use a different material, antimony, to uh, alloy it. It was a, one of the first materials that I actually used, potentially accidentally, to make bronze. So I'm gonna try that out and see how it works. So I haven't been able to find a natural source of tin yet. And I also mentioned the copper that I was going to try and do that primitively. And that's still an ongoing challenge. Ended up getting pushed back because you have to do that outside if you want to really do it primitively around a campfire. And uh, winter came. And I don't want to do this out in the cold. Already hard enough as it is. And then with the penny sword, I teased giving away some penny knives. And uh, we're actually going to do that. It's going to be a follow-up video in a few weeks. So that's still coming. And still have a chance to win some of these. This is about $1 each worth of pennies. Then the camera project is still ongoing, ran into a bit of a roadblock that my uh, kiln broke right at a crucial moment. And uh, so we're still working on that and just got new kiln arrived. So uh, should hopefully not be an issue. I actually have the uh, lens molds already made and broken glass in there, ready to be melted to form the actual lenses. So they'll then grind the correct prescription, but uh, didn't have a kiln. So this got held up. So that's taking a little bit longer than I expected and uh, we got follow-ups for that still with uh, the actual film and a few other components for the camera. So that's gonna be definitely an ongoing project this year. We still have our whole money series. We're still working on that. I grow in my own flax to print my own money. I'm gonna do another coin follow-up video using a more modern way of making coins. I also mentioned that I wanted to do a follow-up video to my fireworks, again, into more rocketry and more advanced pyrotechnics. And that got put on hold. I wasn't able to find a contact I was hoping to make. Hopefully get that all sorted out and do that this summer. Been doing a lot with bronze and copper and hoping to eventually get out of the bronze age into the iron age this year, which is something I've actually been working on for over a year now of trying to grind some ore I collected in the ball mills. This stuff takes a long time to grind. So in addition to that, I also have the cotton t-shirt that I've been growing for the past two years as a project that keeps getting delayed and hopefully to finally wrap it up this winter and uh, get me a t-shirt and then do also do some printing on it with some primitive inks. And another series I'm excited to start this year is on timekeeping where I'll look into primitive ways of tracking time and also get into building my own clock from scratch. And then one of my big goals for this next year is to start getting into electricity making first batteries and then some primitive electronics and work my way up from there now that I have copper and uh, see where this all takes us. Got a pretty exciting year ahead of us. Look forward to producing it and hope everybody enjoys it. Let's check it out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.